Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the Bitcoin chart for you here in a very unbiased perspective. So I do not want to try and cloud anyone's judgment by only going in a very bullish mode or only in a very bearish mode. I'm going to be covering some very important support and resistance levels and uh, you know we're just going to trade the charts. So let's get straight into it. As you know from yesterday's video, go back and watch it if you haven't already. It was at around 9 a.m. when I was making it saying I'm in a long position from 10,172 being the weekly. And yes, I'm longing the high of my upper range because obviously I'm expecting the breakout and higher prices. Was that a good decision? Absolutely it was, because from that weekly, we managed to push all the way up to around $11,500. So a very, very nice rise yesterday, as you can see, getting a pullback at the moment. But before I go over what's happening right now, I would like to cover this rise because it was just so nice. Just very, very, very well traded. So obviously, as you were getting that rise, you had an initial pullback and then another rise. So you kind of got this impulse, bull flag impulse, which brought you up to some big resistances. But as you were getting this rise yesterday, OK, so we're focused on this section. So we were getting that rise yesterday. What I was saying to my team is... I will alert you all when I switch short. Till then, it's long only for me still. And, and why why do I do this? Because a lot of people are very confused thinking, uh, you know, a lot of people, to be honest, lose money on the rises because they just think, you know, I need to short this resistance, I need to short this resistance, I need to short this resistance. And people just lose money on the rises. It's like a really bad idea. So I try and <laughs> I try and help my team in the best way possible and just literally saying, you know, I'm only in a long position. I have no interest in shorting this level. And when I short, I'll tell you. Because it's really simple you know it's really simple i didn't want to try and run in front of this because it was quite funny for me that we obviously bounced off eleven thousand dollars to the absolute dollar and then you got the pullback here and uh during this you know during these few hours of, of pullback you get a lot of people switching really bearish but eleven thousand dollars is just a psychological level there was no confluence at that level that's why i had full confidence in that we will break through two higher levels eleven thousand was a nothing level okay so there was no surprise in my opinion that you back test the monthly there and then you push up. And what was really, really good, by the way, was obviously I was telling my team as we were as we were taking these trades, like the monthly was, you know, insane trade. And literally everybody in the group basically took this trade. As you can see, uh, the amount of people with the exact same entry, obviously around that monthly, the exact same entry you can see for many, many people all around this sort of level. Uh, it was really, really insane. Love to see it. Everyone making money off that monthly. Like it was pretty insane. Like literally, literally so many people <laughs> with the exact same entry. Pretty crazy. But um yeah. Uh, anyway, what what you have from here is you had that back, monthly back test, and then you move up to around you know eleven thousand five hundred, and this is where for me the Elliott Wave count come into play. So this is a video that I can release to you in a few days. Okay. Um, this is basically a high term time frame bullish Elliott Wave count where I was looking for a last impulse up of of the fifth here. Okay, obviously we got that move up for the fifth and the targets was around eleven thousand five hundred to twelve thousand dollars. Okay, and what we actually done yesterday was upon you know making those those great moves during the day, we hit eleven thousand five hundred dollars over at the CME. Okay, so as you can see the CME hit eleven thousand five hundred dollars, and this is again real time updates. The first time I took a short position, as you can see, Daniel just told about the short, so at around 11, you know, 11.20 last night, I took the first short position. And so why was this? I want you to understand the theory because that was shorting almost the high. So I almost shorted the absolute high last night. And how did I know not to short any other region of the move or, you know, during the last 24 hours? And how did I know to short 11,400? Well, for me, it was really simply the CME hitting $11,500. And I saw the order book and the, the, the level was defended really hard because you have a CME gap at around $11,800. So the CME gap was actually defended successfully, we can say now. But in the time we were looking at defense of 11,500, and, um, you know, obviously then you get, you know, people like this, like selling everything at 11,300, like just taking profits. You know, you get you got a lot of profit taking last night and that led to the initial pullback. But you were always likely to pull back when the initial CME started to defend their positions, let's be honest. So it was a mixture of the CME for me, as well as the just, you know, really simply the fact that you were hitting targets, uh, or you know, for me anyway, of the. Elliott wave count coming up to the targets like that is it's a pretty high term time frame target and at, at the very least you're taking profits in my perspective you know I, I was I was shorting it so um, basically that's how I come to short that level and as you can see we had a great pullback at the moment this is what I was waking up to this morning and I was waiting for the reactions off of monthly um you know because we were we were coming down really really strongly okay so what I want to show you now is um 
important support and resistances. So on the Elliott wave count, you can see I have this high term time frame channel. We'll come up to the weekly for this. OK, on the weekly, you can see we are connecting the high here to the high here. And you are then seeing the potential back test of it here. Let's just line this up exactly one second. So let's just put on our magnet tool. You can attach this exactly on the high, exactly on the high. OK, and now what you're going to see is we're going to zoom into a lower term time frame. And what you can see right there is the back test of this channel support. So this is a crucial, crucial, crucial support level. In my honest opinion, it's a level that if lost is pretty bearish. OK, it's pretty bearish. Um, so you're literally on a massive support right now. OK, really massive, massive support. So that 10,600 just really crucial. Just just say it like that. It's crucial support because if you really lose that, well, you're probably going to get at least another you know, you know, potential three, four hundred dollar drop again. OK, down to the order blocks. So, um, you know, you got that weekly below you. So I'll give you some really key levels. You got the weekly there coming in at ten thousand one hundred seventy two crucial support. But really, for me, the back test of that channel, which you've done and you've successfully held it as we speak. You know, I'm doing this, you know, we ha as we're doing as I'm speaking, we're, we are holding the support. So it's not really a time to be, you know, this is a long position. You know, this is this is a potential long um, again, not financial advice. I, I don't want to tell you what to do with your money. Uh, and I'm definitely not telling you what to do with your money. I'm only giving an educational video here. But for me, this is a important support. OK, uh, so really, you have two crucial supports. You have the monthly back test. So, well, but basically the monthly, if you can get over it, pff, yeah, really, really, really nice. You have a lot of trap shorts at the lows, trust me. Um, so you really want to reclaim that monthly and then it's off to the races, you know, so to speak, off to the races sort of thing where you can expect another rising price. OK, so I'd really be very interested in reclaim of that monthly. And, um, you know, if you can do that, I, I would expect another push to the upside, to be honest with you. So this is something that we got to monitor. And you got that obviously 10,600, which was a back test of the higher term time frame channel. And, uh, you know, if you lose that, which has been really well defended at the moment, but again, I don't want to give a 100%. So if we lose that level, then I think you're looking down to around the weekly slash 10,350. OK, but at the moment, the back test is held. We're getting a long lower wick. If we can reclaim the monthly, should be good to push up higher. Um, that's my perspective <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's what I wanted to talk you through here, how literally... I knew yesterday during the day, again, this is a little bit of bragging, but I mean, come on, that was insane, absolutely insane to know not is a good time. It's definitely not a good time to short to then see everybody taking their long positions. And then literally, you know, literally, that's a real time update of saying that I'm in the short positions. OK, after not shorting the whole of that rise yesterday to then take the first short and literally short the high was that, that's pretty insane. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty insane. Um but yeah, you're used to it by now. You are used to it. So it's not not a surprise, but really nice trading. And then um, I guess I'll end with the news once more that we do still have the uh, Chart Champions trading competition, which is for 200 Bitcoin, 200 Bitcoin prize pool. And I, I am just so certain that we win this because I'm just trading like an absolute beast at the moment. So if you do want to join the team, I'll leave it in the comments down below so you can follow the instructions. But just so you're aware, you now have one day, 23 hours to sign up for this. And, uh, you know, the links are going to be down below. This is for about 200 Bitcoin. Obviously, you've got a few different competitions within this. And, um, you know, the prize pool is shared between everybody that joins as long as you have uh, deposited at least 0.1 Bitcoin. I've done so many questions about this. If you join the team via the link, but you do not deposit, then you are automatically removed from the team. So you do have to have have deposited a new deposit of at least 0.1 Bitcoin. Obviously, you could deposit 100 Bitcoin if you wanted to. It's kind of up to you, but it has to be at least 0.1 Bitcoin. And then you will be in the Bybit team here for uh, the 200 Bitcoin competition. I absolutely am looking forward to this so, so much. Uh, but yeah, there, there's the instructions. I'll leave them down in the comments below. But what a lovely, lovely day of trading it has been. Um, I guess I will wrap up by saying, um, yeah, I'll wrap up by saying, once more, we're in a bullish trend. You know, the, the local market structure here is bullish. We can still expect a higher push to the upside. We want to trade with the trend. We don't want to. I, I'm going to say this. Don't want to be the hero time in the highs, although I was the hero that timed the high last night. But generally speaking, you don't want to do that just as you don't need to exactly time 10,600 to wait for the reclaims of these levels. And you've got good trades. I'm going to go and manage this now because I can see it actually trying to reclaim the monthly. So. Um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I wanted to give you a very unbiased perspective on the chart because I just know social media is going to be full of euphoric posts. So hopefully I've given you a voice of 
clarity and just a voice of sensible trading you know i've given you some very important supports very important resistances and um you know from there you can hopefully make an informed trading decision okay so we'll take one more look at the chart before i sign off not quite above that monthly but you can see it's attempting but obviously that's resistance now once claimed your next weekly is above you at eleven thousand five hundred, and you obviously got 12k above you and um yeah if you if, um I guess I'll, I'll put it like this because it's always good for the interactions that do you want to see this Elliott Wave video? If you want to see the Elliott Wave video, give me a like on this video. Give me a comment down below and uh, let me know. Do you want to see this video? I, I, I'm, I most likely would imagine a lot of you will want to see it. But, you know, I guess I'm saying if you like the content, give me a like. It, it does help out. So, um, yeah, cheers, everybody. Uh, this was a really nice count, which I'll upload for you in a few days. And, um, yeah, until then, happy trading. Important support and resistance is given. And uh, yeah, we're enjoying we're enjoying the trades. So cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.